Okay, Luigi's gonna use his spiny orb. We're gonna lay it. Oh! Oh, wait, no, no, we gotta land on it. I thought if you go by it, it's gonna actually gonna get you, but if you land on it, um, you give 10 coins to that person right there, and what's Luigi gonna do? Coins from. Okay, he's stealing from Mario. Since he has the most coins, it would make the most sense. I mean, yeah, I'm in first place with that one star, but. Normally, with the computer AI will go for the person that's in first place. Maybe the person that has the first star, that has a star, or the stars, or yada yada yada. Oh, yeah, spawn. Well, we just got another spawny orb. Okay, Toe is gonna lay down her spawny orb. A lot of spawny orbs here. Okay. Whee! Yeah, this board right here, Tower and Tree Trap, is actually a pretty good board for beginners who's never played the first Mario Party. If the first... Wait a minute. Yep, we get a battle mini game. Okay, now battle mini games, just like Mario Party 5, will appear out of nowhere, out of random. And, um... And who and the, uh... Go, the, get, the host, which at this time is Brighton, will, uh... Will, we pick a random amount of coins, which is going to be 10 coins, so it's going to be 40 coins up for grabs. And just like in Mario Party 5, the first, the, the mini game that gets the most votes will be the uh, winner, and it's actually one of my favorites, uh, Insectoride. Okay, Insectoride, we um, play a, we get a, a different type of vehicle. Okay, so, um... We get to choose whichever vehicle we want, and they have actually different ways of activating them, so... Okay. Um, I like that one. I believe. Um, let's see, he's gonna pick that one. Mario better not choose that one. And he chose it. I get the hard one. The, uh... Okay, I get the, uh, the... the I call it the Volkswagen Beetle, because it reminds me of, of that car, so... Okay, so basically here's what this go how this goes. We get to we need to press whatever buttons like B A Y X L and R buttons. Now each uh, vehicle has different uh, ways of driving, which me I have to press a button that's ever shown this uh, ten times. I'm gonna focus here. Okay, I press the button ten times. Okay, so my uh, vehicle had, um, I gotta press a, bu a random button 10 times to activate it. Now, Toadette's, I believe, has the hardest. You gotta press 8 random buttons in order, whatever is order shown on top of uh, the screen there, so. Okay, and Mario's, I believe, no, let's see, Luigi's has the one where you have to press a random button. Let's see, how can I explain it? It's the snail car. That No, Mario had the snail car. Mario had the snail car, and um, he, um, yeah, press a whatever button that's closest to. Okay, we're back to daytime now, so that pathway will be open, and Woody will return. Okay, so on um, the sector ride, I'm trying to explain it. It's kind of hard to. Now, Mario's vehicle had the uh, the snail vehicle. Um, you gotta press whatever button as the furthest you can. And the further the, uh, the front of the snail car extends, the further you go. And the Ouija had, uh, had the, uh, probably the easiest one, that little blue bulldozer bug vehicle. And basically, uh, I think you gotta press one button, whatever button shows up, it's like A, B, I think his is the easiest, I believe. I didn't really pay attention. And of course mine, which was the beetle car, gotta press whatever button shows on the... The uh, screen there ten times. I can press A ten times. Gonna press Y ten times, and so on and so on. And don't you think that's a little bit late to try to get me to that? So hopefully that's how I explain accept the ride there. So okay, so we're back to daytime here. Okay, I got another four player. Okay, so we have Looper Scooper. This one's gonna be fun. Let me find it on the list here. 
Where is it? Where is it? Oh, here it is. Right here. Okay, so blooper scuba. We gotta try to escape the, uh, the, uh, tentacles of the blooper. If you get caught in the blooper tentacles, you're out. It goes to either the last person standing or the time limit runs out. Whoever survives the time limit or is the last person standing will be the winner, so. So yeah, I've got that. You gotta watch out for the tentacles. Or else that will happen. Or if you get too close to the blooper. And watch out for objects. They will stun you temporarily. No, 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 Oh, you've got to be freaking kidding me. On the last second, basically when time limit expired, I got eliminated. Screw you, blooper. Trust me, whenever we get that game again, I hope we will, which I believe we will, so because we still got, up to this, got five boards. I will get my redemption, and and I will be avenged. And ooh, we got a war pop war. Basically, you can change uh, you get to change places of another player to turn by roulette wheel. So, so that's what Mario got right there. Yeah, it's a pretty good way to try to swap another opponent with another opponent who um like say he's near the star. You can actually use that. But the thing I don't like about it is to turn by a random uh, roulette wheel. And it's kind of hard to stop on the person you want, usually. Kind of. I think in this game it's actually kind of like, a little bit easier, though. Yeah, Luigi. Oh, well. What turn are we on? Turn 8. Yeah, these boards will take a little bit while. Will take a long time. But this board should go by pretty quick since it's just like the, a basic Mario Party board. But for later boards, they'll get a little bit longer because of the events. Okay, one versus three. Okay, ball dozers. This one's a this one um a little pinball machine thing. Now one player actually has the big ball, I believe. No, no, one player has the small ball. But a team of three has to work together to try to get the big ball into the little to the end here. Okay, get out of the way, Mario. Okay. Yeah, Mario kind of got in the way there. See, I've got to try to break these little log blocks here. Okay, it's coming down. Okay, let me get this. Get the... There we go. See, I've got to try to... There we go, we did it. Got to try to make... The first one, first person or team gets their ball into the uh, little, uh, hoop, little thing there, and the pinball machine will be the winner. And yeah, Mario is actually making a run for the mini game star, so we we'll have to watch out for him. Okay, one. Okay, after this turn to be nine again. Okay. Um. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted. Well, Toadette seems to be a little bit closer, so let's try to swap places with her. We're gonna try it. Right. Got it. There we go. What I wanted. Four. Okay, that word. I got a flaw. Oh, you can land. Oh yeah, if you land on your own uh, character space, um, you get additional five. Uh oh, coins. Yeah, five. Oh, please don't get me. Ah, dang it. Ah, uh, yeah, I forgot Mario had a warp pop war, so he so he did the double switch on me. And um. No DK. Uh, let's see, Mario's heading towards the star. You know, I actually should have waited till Mario to actually use this warp pop. So, actually use this warp pop instead of me. Oh man, I'm an idiot. I didn't realize Mario had a warp pop, and I've actually should have waited till Mario used his, and then I used mine, and then trade places with him. That way, I can get my next star. But, we're getting, co getting close to halfway, so, we still got time to do this. And, again, another one versus three. Okay, so we have Crate and Peril. Uh, hang on, come on. My lead pencil's kind of acting up on me. Okay, so this is a real fun game. 
The team of three is in this little box with uh, spawny shells, and the one player must must try to get the spawny shells to hit all the team of three. Now the per now the team of three must survive until the time limit, and if they can do that, they will win. But the one player will win if all three members of the team of three is eliminated, like right there. So very easy game. You just gotta move the control stick to tilt the. Uh, you just gotta move the control stick to tilt the uh, the little box there. So yeah. I need to actually start explaining the controls for the games here, so. Okay, not time. Yeah, we all know. I'm gonna hang on to that, actually. Woo! Thank you! Wish that was. Wish that was where Mario was, but. I wasn't thinking. And I get another Thwomp Ward. Okay, so is Mario. Wait. Okay, he's got a Mushroom Ward. Okay, he's gonna get his first star. I'm gonna have to... Okay, is he gonna see Boo? I don't know. Okay, so now where's this star gonna go? Uh, hello! Looks like it's gonna be a race between me, Toadette, and Luigi for that next star. For that star right there. Yeah, he's going by Pink Boo, thank God. Um, the amount I've got to mention just from Pink Boo, um, if you want him to st if you want her, it's actually a girl, to steal coins, it, it's cost 5 coins to steal coins, and I believe it's 40 or 30 coins to steal stars, so. So yeah, stealing a star in this game is actually a lot more easier than it is in any game, because in the past games it's been 50 coins. And oh yeah, baby, he's gonna land in my Goomba or space here, and he's gonna give me 10 coins. So yeah, that's what the Goomba Orb does. If the person lands on your space, or the, the person the per, determined by a dice block, dice block row will give you amount of coins. It could be 5, 10, 15, or even 20 coins, actually. I believe 20 is actually the highest it'll go, actually. And, okay, good. We're not going to see Bowser, I think. Oh, never mind. I was about ready to say, we are not going to see Bowser, but till that make sure that we did and we'll see what's gonna happen mini game yeah Bowser mini game are we gonna get the new one or the one I haven't unlocked yet I believe the loser has to hand over all the coins ah dang it we got close but we got our first repeat Dizzy Rotrisi Dizzy Rotrisi I guess how you pronounce it yeah I'm gonna try to get that last one uh, I think it's uh, I'll look at the Kid, kid, where are you going? And oh yeah, these are cheesy. Um, the controls here you can move, but um, basic. Yeah, I'll explain it here in a little minute, in a little while. When I get done here, I'm just gonna try to make it to the end here. Yeah, the controls will be different because you're so dizzy. The control stick will be different, so you can if you go. Sometimes you can go up. If you go up, you go left and. Or if you go up, you go down, and so on and so on. It's kind of like Dizzy Dancing from Mario Party 2, if you're familiar with that game. This game right here should be a snap, so. And the game I haven't unlocked yet is Dark and Crispy, which I believe... I don't know much about Dark and Crispy, and... Okay, no, it's half coins. Because Mario's not the only one that... He was the only one that didn't make it. Okay, so number two versus two. Okay, so we got Light Breeze. This one, I believe, is the fan one. Uh, yeah. So basically, we gotta press uh, left and right on the R, L, and R buttons, but well, alternately. So you gotta press uh, the L and R buttons alternately to power up the uh, fans. And the first person to power up the, the, the first team to power up the uh, power turbines there will be the winner. And wow, Luigi and Toadette actually can't get close. So basically, if the faster you go, we mention the L and R buttons, not at the same time, but back and forth, the more faster the uh, the turbine, the power turbines are going to spin. I believe they're called turbines or windmills or something. Okay, so hang on a minute. Let me go back with the map. Uh, Luigi and uh, 
until they are actually nowhere near the uh, space fucking. Yeah, you can only throw your your orb up to six spaces, so Toadette and Luigi are nowhere near that. They get any coins there. Yeah, nine though. And where's the star at again? Okay, it's up there. Going up definitely. Okay. Okay, Mars only uses Mushroom Orb, and the Mushroom Orb, you get two DOS blocks in your turn, so... Okay, I should be familiar with that. It's a good roll, 17. And I'm gonna have to watch out for Mario, though, because I think he has minigame right now, and he's got another warp pipe, but he's gonna stop. Thanks to that Thwomp Orb. Let's see, where's Luigi gonna go? Okay, he's not gonna go anywhere. Uh, let's see about Toad. Nope, she got the next star. So everyone but Luigi has one, at least one star. So, so yeah. Zach Toad want to try to win in her debut. So we'll see. And the next star is right there. And I actually still have a flop orb though, so, so I can actually use it. Okay, here's the happening space, one of them for this board. Um, there's three of them right here. Now, if you run into the bees here, the bees will steal a random amount of number of coins from you, so. And, that's, and told that, actually, that's actually the first happening space we've uh, seen in this board, or this, and this game in general. So, Toadette has the happening star right now. Okay, so, okay, so now we have Pixel Perfect. We gotta try to match our board, match up like the uh, little board there on the top of the screen there. Okay. Oh! Ah, dang it, throw that, and uh, Mario got it. Okay, the first person to match up the boards two times, and two times will be the winner. Uh, oh, what? How did they win that? Wow, they're pretty fast. And Mario is really dominating the mini games. That's kind of worrying me right now. So yeah, uh, so basically you gotta try to match up the uh, the board to make it match the little little board there in the top of the screen. And the first person, that, the first team to get two of them right will be the winner. Okay, I'm gonna hang on to that. Oh uh, wait, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna use this differently. I'm gonna slow down Luigi. Uh, let's see here. You know, it's actually smart. Just put it right here. So if I get a low row, like that, uh, Luigi won't be anywhere near me. Actually, you know what? Toadette, oh crud. Toadette is actually in line for a second star. But she actually has happening, so she... But it depends on how low she gets. But I'm actually gonna see Boo, I believe. Well, actually, no, wait a minute. This is the. I think this is the last turn for. Yeah, this is the last turn for the night, so. Pink Boo won't be in. Actually, I'm nowhere near that, so. So, yeah, Toadette has her second star, and that's not good. So, right now, she's in the catbird seat. Because she just landed on the only happening space of this board, and. She went up. But oh well, we're we going to go and try to get the star where Toadette's first, where Toadette got her first star in. That's probably the best orb that Toadette's got right there, the Sluggish Room Orb. But basically, slow down the dice block and you can pick any number you want to move, so. And we get another two versus two. Mullet. Okay, this one's kind of simple. Um, we're in this little area with filled with. Okay, this one's okay. This is one of the mini games that's actually affected by the uh, day and night transition. Now, the mullet game in the daytime, you have to try to jump up and hit the uh, the uh, the Monty Mo's upwards. But in the nighttime, you have to ground pound them to uh, actually get a, get a point. So yeah. And yes, gold uh, Monty Mo's are worth three points, and we're sucking right now. But tell that, what are you doing? There you go. Yeah, if you, hit, if you run into a piranha plant, you will be stunned temporarily. 
need a gold one, buddy. Ah, oh, dang it! Okay, yeah, we won by one point, thank god. I did not want Mario to win another minigame. 